for the train to go by. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, we're not in the quietest of environments today, but whatever, that's cool. I'm bummed out because I wanted to catch the front of the train with the drone that I was just telling you about, but maybe we will get fortunate enough to do that. So, in this here Pelican case, which we'll get into that in a minute, is my new Mavic Air 2 drone that we shot the opening sequence of this video with. I am in love with this thing. Now, I had the Mavic Air, the first one, ended up with the second one, and I'll tell you what, I bought this on Amazon. You can, there's a link to it in the description. And also, let me show you what I did here. I made my own Pelican case and just cut the foam to fit. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so it worked pretty well. And this is the drone. So it's this small. Unfold the arms. Those go this way. I'll talk about a couple of interesting features with this particular drone. So there is uh, a light on the bottom. So if you're landing in low light, like landing gear lights almost. Uh, sensors on the bottom, sensors on the back. Um, an all new gimbal and new camera, which is unbelievable. It shoots uh, raw. So the still photos that we're taking with it, I'll give you a couple of still photo examples right here. Um, you're able to actually then put these into Lightroom and play around with them a lot more uh, than you would with a regular JPEG from the old drone, which I'm really, really super stoked. Um, I like how the battery comes off, pops back on there. Uh, I'm getting about 20, they say 32 minutes of flight time. I'm literally, I'm really only getting about 25, 28 minutes of flight time um, before it wants to come back on you. Uh, it's got the little battery indicator right there. Um, fold up props these props I'll show you in a minute are so quiet uh, the old ones were way louder than this so I like that because being able to uh, kind of be more incognito when you're when you're doing this stuff because you don't want to disturb other people I don't want to be a jerk about flying my drone but I do want to get the shots so being less distracting to other people with the drone is really, really killer. I really, really love that. It's a little bit bigger than the old one, but having it in this little case, I can just chuck it in the back of the Jeep and always have it with me. What a cool setup. Let me show you the remote. So I don't know if you've ever watched any videos about the old one, but the old one had these little fold up arms that basically came off the bottom and then your phone kind of sat down here, but they were sort of wiggly and I didn't really like them that much. This one is different. So this one has a slide up deal and then your phone and actually the cable that you use stows in there and then your phone goes in here and plugs in like that. What's so interesting about that is now the antennas are in here. Ooh, maybe we'll get this thing up in the air and shoot some video. We got a train coming. Show you just how easy it is to get this thing up in the air and fly it. Come on, let's do it quick. Hit record. So we're already recording. I'm just waiting for a couple of satellites to recognize there. Should take just a second. Hopefully we beat the train. All right, we got 11 satellites. And we're in the air. All right. So basically we're flying now and uh, we're catching the train. I don't know if that train's going to be coming this way because there's two different tracks, so I don't know if we're going to get so lucky. But 
and if it does it's gonna be loud oh here we go so here's my gimbal control Here's the interesting thing about this. See this little switch right here? I know it's loud, but there's a train. See that little switch right there? If we go to tripod mode, then what that gives us is a lot more slower actions. Like so. Something like that. Now, if we switch this over to sport mode, now we're just moving. I'll show you what that looks like. That was 40 miles an hour. And there's me, right here, sitting at the table. Uh, it takes fantastic stills. Um, it does great active track. Well, here, let's bring this thing back. Just wanna be careful landing this thing because I don't want to hit the trees. Let's see if we can land it right there on the table. Boom, and we're back. So that just gives you an idea how easy it is to get the thing up in the air. Um, oh, hey, I wanna shoot something really quick. Um, the, everything is way more streamlined. Um, there's not, it's not as fiddly as the old one. I think you had to mess with it a lot to get it to work right. And I really, really like, I don't know, I just like how easy it is. It does take some practice, obviously. There are some really cool automated features. Uh, we were in Land Between the Lakes, and Leslie was actually flying the drone, and we tried some active track stuff. This was me walking, um, and it was tracking me. Um, another active tracking shot is really neat, where you can actually uh, pinpoint an area, and then just use the left or right sticks to kind of like come around a radius. So this is a lighthouse uh, at Land Between the Lakes. Uh, and you can see me just like doing a constant radius because the target is actually on the lighthouse and it's just giving me that nice radius. Now you have to have room, you don't wanna hit anything, but I really, really dig that feature. Um, this is an active tracking situation with the Jeep, uh, which you probably saw uh, in our other video about Land Between the Lakes. And so there's a couple of features that I really like about it, just make it super easy to fly. And then when I'm all done with it, I also like how easy it is to pack all up because this goes like this and of course I had to buy this separate but it was really not that expensive and you see how I just cut it up there so that it all fits. Uh, let's see, the pivoty ones go in first and then the straight arms go in second. That fits right in there like that. And then basically what I do is uh, throw it all in the back of the Jeep. So my camera lives here. I want to figure out some way to have like some kind of holster for my camera so I can just grab it like from the front seat whenever I want. Uh, backpack camera bag that's got another camera body in it and a bunch of lenses and stuff. And then my tripod lives back here. 
and then we have an inverter in the Jeep and since this uh, drone charger is only 37 watts um, the 100 watt inverter in the Jeep will actually charge it so we keep that in here and then the drone just lives in its little pelican case and we have our whole setup with us so that's that um, thanks for hanging out and checking out the drone stuff with me um, make sure you check out our live thing on Sunday night at 9 30 Eastern time because we're gonna do an FAQ that sort of stuff hang out with me and Leslie pretty awesome um, and then also the video that I mentioned in this video about Land Between the Lakes doesn't actually come out today it comes out next week but if you're on patreon.com slash music and mascara it comes out today so what I mean by that is we're releasing all of our videos a week early on patreon.com from now on so there you go um, and also we're doing a couple other little fun things over there letting you know where we are uh, because you know the way we're shooting our videos now uh, everything's gonna lag a couple of weeks so if you want to find out right where we are when we're there patreon.com slash music and mascara thanks for hanging out and i guess we'll see you soon